What's up, YouTube? This is Fourth Star TCG, and today we have, I'm sure, what you guys have been waiting for for a long time. <laughs> we got the second installment of my entire collection series. I know it's been a while since the first part went up, but uh, I will link that in the description. Um, if you want to go check that out, that was me showing off all of my EX, uh, EX series cards, and this is going to be me showing off my... Uh, black and white and XY era full art cards, uh, full art EX uh, cards. Um, only going to be showing the PSA graded copies and I believe just the PSA graded 10s. Um, if I were to show you everything else, that would take hours. Um, so the, yeah. so these, these are the, uh, these are the cards that, um, that I have amassed in my collection. Uh, this tiny stack right here is the English ones and everything else is Japanese. Um, so I figure without any further ado, well, let's get into it. Uh, the English cards I have, I really don't have a lot, but they are very high quality. Um, so here is the first one, a Gem Mint 10 Mega Rayquaza EX Full Art from Roaring Skies. Uh, extremely happy to have this card in my collection, just beautiful. Um, so it's, it is, this is amazing. Uh, I, I foresee the value of this card just skyrocketing. Um, so I'm very happy to be able to knock it out um, right now. Next up for English, we have a Gemmin 10 Lysander's Trump card from Phantom Forces. I have graded two of this myself. I sold one of my copies to uh, Hizoka 107 to help him out with uh, his Phantom Forces set, but I was able to uh, grade another one at 10. Next up we have Latios EX. Gem Mint 10, Full Art from Plasma Freeze. Mega Agron EX, Gem Mint 10 from Primal Clash. Primal Clash has major quality issues, so getting any card in a 10 from there is uh, pretty amazing, especially a Full Art card. Uh, I don't know. I think the Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre are pop zero in a 10, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, one of my favorite cards in my collection. Uh, I got this in my first ever PSA submission, Gem Mint 10 Darkrai EX from Dark Explorers. Just beautiful. So those are all the English cards I have. I think you have a, maybe one or two more, but they're for sale right now, so I won't, uh, won't include those. Next up, we got the Japanese ones. First up, we got the Gem Mint 10 Genesect EX, first edition from Megalo Cannon. I don't know why I'm saying Gem Mint 10, because they're all Gem Mint 10, but whatever. Malamar EX from Phantom Gate, another amazing card. Gem Mint 10 Ampharos from Bandit Ring. These Japanese cards, uh, especially the Japanese Full Arts, uh, the newer ones, they're pretty easy to get in a 10. Uh, there's a Mega Ampharos EX. And from Bandit Ring. Both of these cards are the Bandit Ring ones I pulled myself. It's pretty sweet. Did I pull? No, I didn't pull the Malamar myself. <clears throat> yeah. In Energy Retrieval from Bandit Ring. Gem Mint 10. Um, yeah, as I was saying, these Japanese cards. Ooh, check that out. Lugia EX from Plasma Gale, Gem Mint 10. Very nice. The newer XY era ones are easier to get in a 10. But once you get a, um, there's the Latias EX from Thunder Knuckle, first edition. Once you once you start getting backwards into the the sets like this one, back from 2012, that's four years ago now. Um, stuff like that, it gets harder to find them in tens. Uh, you might think that um, Gem Mint Ten Mega Gallade EX from Emerald Break. You might think that, oh, all the full arts are kind of easy to find in a 10. There's another uh, full art, um, Mega Gallade. And they kind of are. I mean, it's not like... Check that out. Pulled that myself as well. No first edition mark on... Oh, yeah, there, they did mark it first edition, but there's a little mess up right there. Um, yeah. So once you get back into uh, some of the other cards, they're just harder and harder to find in a uh, in a 10 or harder to find in 10 condition. Stuff like uh, once you get back into Dark Rush and um, any of those. Ooh, check that out. 
any of maybe the sets I want to say pre black and white, maybe like black and white eight and um, before that, they're they they get significantly harder to find in gem mint condition. Um, so scoring a ten on those, not as easy as you may think. But if you if you do send in a mint Japanese full art card that you've pack pulled or something like that, um, chances are it will score a ten, as these cards are made extremely well. Got the Latios EX from Emerald Break right there. I do have a complete PSA graded Emerald Break set. I don't believe I yeah I don't have them all in tens, but they're all in nines. Uh, nines or above. There's the Mega Latios EX, the Hydreigon EX from Emerald Break. Pretty nice there. And yeah, I just love these full art cards, especially in Japanese. Um, Beautiful texture. Like, look at that Wally. -E. Look at the uh, texture on that Wally -E right there. Awesome. And that's like it, that's just like a normal boring supporter. <laughs> but um, here we go. Gem Mint 10 Wally -E from Emerald Break. Emerald Break was one of my favorite sets, so I um, did go after every uh, full art and ultra rare in a PSA 10. Got the Gold VS Seeker. And there's the Darkrai EX in Japanese as well. There's one stack down. Going to the next stack here. Gemmint 10 Mega Sceptile EX from uh, Bandit Ring. Pretty nice there. Gemmint 10 Ladio CX from Spiral Force, first edition. Check that out. Hoopa EX, another first edition card. Just beautiful. Awesome. Giratina EX, another beautiful, beautiful card from Bandit Ring. Bandit Ring was another one of those sets that I really liked. Uh, so many legendary Pokemon in there. Um, I don't think... No, I don't think I completed that set. But, um... Still some... I, I still have a large majority of it, I think. Here's the uh, Primal Kyogre. The Ultra Rare in a Gem at 10. Next up, here's the Mega Rayquaza EX. Pulled this myself. I probably pulled the Kyogre myself, too. Um, uh, pretty nice. Someone's mowing the lawn out there. I don't know if you guys can hear it. And there's the final one of the trio, the Groudon EX. Of course, all of the shiny versions featured in those cards. That's pretty cool. And we got some Blue Shock cards here. Mega Glalie EX. That's pretty awesome right there. Mega Houndoom EX. I think I need to send these in to be relabeled because they don't mark um, that they're the full art version. But I actually kind of like the arrangement where it doesn't mark the full art version. So, I mean, the pop report might be a little bit off, but I mean, like, is that really that important? Because um, they're really going to stay in my collection. Uh, Japanese Lysander's Trump card. This is really hard to find um, for some reason. This card is just not easy to find in mint condition because it was very playable. Um, actually banned. <laughs> so it was used for a lot of decks in Japan and it being a extremely hard to pull full art supporter. Um, just makes it, just compounds everything. Check that out. Got the Japanese version of the Mega Rayquaza EX. And what else but a Gem Mint 10 and 1st Edition. I don't know how much I paid for that card when it first came out. I think I paid like $55 or $60 for that card. Um, just crazy thinking about that, knowing what the prices are now. But, I mean, nobody knew what, nobody knew it was going to be. It was a Mega Rayquaza X Full Art. It was pretty, pretty, pretty crazy. There's the uh, Dragon Blade. Rayquaza EX and a Gem Mint 10. 
and the Emerald Break Rayquaza EX uh, Full Art in a Gem in 10. The Primal Groudon from Guy Volcano. Just beautiful. I, lo I love the, uh, the regular Full Art versions of uh, the Hoenn Primal Mega Legends. Primal Groudon, Primal Kyogre, Mega Rayquaza, just beautiful. So it would be fantastic to uh, to score those in a 10 in English, but don't know if that's going to happen. We got the um, Black and White 3 Groudon, the Full Art, that's in a Gem Mint 10 as well. Pretty awesome there, and first edition as well. And we got Archie's Ace from Tidal Storm. Now we're going to be moving on to the last and final stack. Alright, let's keep going. There's the Primal Kyogre EX. Pretty beautiful there. Wow. All these cards are awesome. There's the Kyogre EX from Tidal Storm. Pulled that myself. Pretty sweet there. Deoxys EX from Spiral Force. I believe this was in my first ever submission. Yeah, I think so. And a vast majority of these cards I have graded myself. Um, I would say maybe like two or three I purchased. There's the Dark Rush Raikou in a Gem Mint 10. That has that beautiful... It's, it's so apparent on this, the gold outlining on Raikou. Just fantastic. Mega Gardevoir EX, pretty sweet right there, again from Tidal Storm, that was my second PSA submission I think. The Double Crisis Shard Hollow Groudon, Shard Hollows are fantastic, just love them. And there is the Double Crisis Kyogre EX, the Shard Hollow as well. Pretty sweet there. A regular Groudon from Hail Blizzard. Still an awesome card, love the artwork. I think I have two of these. Yes, I do. So two Gem Mint 10 Shiny Rayquaza EXs. These are pretty cool. I think I still have a couple of the sealed promos. Don't know what I'll do with them. Maybe I'll wait for the price to go up again. Um, but yeah, these are pretty sweet. Got the Gem Mint 10 Mega Gengar EX. The shiny version from the Pokemon Center uh, promos. This, this is getting a much getting pretty valuable lately. I think, what was it, like 20 bucks? Eight, yeah. I think I bought mine for like 10 or something, but the price has doubled. It's probably going to go up even more. So um, if you're looking to invest, invest in uh, this Mega Gengar EX. Pretty sweet. I only wish it uh, was either released in English or had a full art. That would be pretty sick. Camera Up DX from Guy Volcano. Another awesome card. Getting down to the uh, last couple cards here. Got a Full Art Regigigas EX. This is pretty sweet as well. First set that had Full Arts in it. Way back in 2011. And this is what I'm talking about when I say that like some of the older ones that are much harder to get in Gem Mint 10. Um, finding a card that's, what, five years old. Um... Uh, in perfect condition, not easy. So there's the uh, Mega Tyranitar EX from Bandit Ring. And then of course you think about finding cards from Japanese EX series, Diamond and Pearl era, stuff like that, it gets even harder. Um, a Mega Agron EX. Pretty sweet there. Love that, uh, love the pattern on these cards. Embossed nature and everything. Beautiful. 
And last but not least, we have Lugia EX from Bandit Ring. Pretty, pretty awesome. So, there we go. That is my PSA 10 graded full art collection. Um, as I said, I only showed you guys the 10s. <laughs> if I were to show you all the 9s and the 8s and the ones that I don't have graded, it would take me hours. Um, so there we go. There are all of my uh, PSA graded 10 uh, full arts. I hope you guys enjoyed. So uh, be sure to like and subscribe and stick around for more videos.